Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare, Hey, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, hey, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, oh, Hare Hare, oh, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, oh, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, hey, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Kirtan, yeah. Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hola, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Chant dance, chant dance. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Back home, yeah. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama oh, Rama Rama Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, oh, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, oh, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, oh, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, hey, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, oh, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, yeah. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Va, Va, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, oh, oh, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Yo ho Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, wow, Hare Hare, hey! Kirtan, yo! Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, 
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. Okay, here we go. Not too fast. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Woo! Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Kirtan, yo! Chant dance. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Whoa! Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
Back home, yo! Radish on! Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. All night. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Go! Yep, cut! Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Ram. Good, 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 good
Okay, here we go now. Hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Go, 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 go. Okay. Hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Dance. Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram. Go, go. Hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. One more. Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. What is that? Hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Go, 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 go. One more. Hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Rama, Hare Rama, 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 oh, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, no, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, wow, Hare Hare. Hey! I go Prabhu Pada Jai, Prabhu Pada Jai, Prabhu Pada Jai, Prabhu Pada. Jai Jai Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Pada Jai Prabhu Pada. Nisai Go Pemanandi. I go to Premanandi. I go Prem, 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 Please be seated. <laughs> you dance so nicely. It's described as a transcendental sound vibration, which means, as I was saying earlier, it, it comes from beyond this world. Just like Mother Ganges, I think some of you, you yogis, you must have been to India. There's many sacred rivers there. The Muna, the Saraswati, uh, the uh, Ganges. And these rivers are not ordinary rivers. The Ganges, for example, it went at one point, um, the Ganges flows to the spiritual sky, but at one point it leaked, it's still leaking, into the material creation. Uh, it, it, it descends through the upper planetary system as the Bhagarati, then it comes to the uh, earthly plane is called the Ganges, like this. And wherever it goes, it purifies. 
because it's not ordinary water. Felina Parichate, we say in Sanskrit, you judge something by the result. So people in India, they, you know, for the most part, they're still villagers. They prefer that natural lifestyle to the big cities. And they live on the banks of the Ganges because they know that by bathing in those sacred waters, um, all their karma is uh, swept away. Cheto dharpana marjani. Cheto dharpana marjani means all the obstacles to the path of self-realization, like lust or anger or greed, that the obstacles in our heart, they're washed away by bathing in Mother Ganges. And what's more, by bathing in Mother Ganges, the um, material desires which caused those karmic reactions, they're uprooted and thrown to the twelfth dimension. And what's left is this golden seed. In everyone's heart, there's a golden seed. It's called bhakti. The bhakti lata, lata means bee. So bhakti lata bij, it's dormant. And the nature of that seed is that uh, it evolves into pure love of God. Pure love of God. It's called prema. But like a seed can sit uh, in, in, in the store on the shelf, a pack of seeds, they can sit for 100 years and they don't grow. It takes the farmer in the springtime, he takes the seeds and he plants them in the fertile soil and he waters them. And voila, mystically. Actually, this material creation, if you think about it, is very mystic. Mystically, the seeds grow. Sometimes a tiny seed like this grows into a gigantic banyan tree. So within our hearts is a golden seed of prema or love for the divine couple, Radha and Krishna. When we speak about God in, 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 the, in the philosophy of the Vedas, it's, we address them as male and female. God's not only male, he's also female. Radha is his expansion, his pleasure potency. So the absolute truth is Radha Krishna. And we all had uh, a loving relationship with them at one time. At one time we were in the spiritual world and we were relishing this wonderful association with Radha and Krishna and their friends in the beautiful town and village of Vrindavan. But somehow we fell from grace and we came to the material world in Brahmanda Brahmatikon, life after life after life here. So this uh, sound, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare, just like the Ganges. It also, Goluk Prem Dan, Hare Nam Shankirtan, just like the Ganges flows to the heavenly planets, to the middle planetary system where the earth is, and down to the lower planetary systems, purifying wherever it goes. Similarly, this mantra can purify anyone and everyone. On the heavenly planets, this is before the spiritual world, uh, that's where the pious living entities go at the time of death. They're, they enjoy a life free from any problems or difficulties, except that because it's the material world, they eventually die, and when their pious activities are exhausted, they come back down and take birth on, the plan on this planet Earth, like that. So when you chant there, you chant here, or even if you chant on the lower planets, the same result is there. Cheto dharpan marjanam. All the things that come between us and the Supreme Personality of God and Krishna are washed away. And with a clean heart, that seed can grow. Those material desires are compared to weeds that choke the devotional creeper, that, that little seed that's germinating. Weeds can choke it. So like when you plant a garden, you take all the weeds out first. Then you plant the healthy plants and they can grow. So spiritual life means we have to cleanse the heart first and then water that seed of love by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare no. And you can feel, isn't it, after a kirtan, isn't it you feel refreshed? I always do. It's like you take a bath like, and you come out refreshed. 
Like, who doesn't feel refreshed after a bath? So after chanting Hare Krishna, we feel refreshed. And suchinam shumatangehe, this, this uh, purified state, this is what we want to achieve. We want to be pure. We, want to be pure. we are pure, but we're covered by all these layers of, of matter. So we have to become pure, so we have to become self-realized. And uh, the thing is, <laughs> it is such a blissful process. Like I was saying earlier, there's not a lot of austerity involved. There's some austerity. A, a candidate for uh, Krishna consciousness has to follow the four principles. No meat eating, uh, no gambling, no sex outside of marriage, and no gambling. Whoa. Swami, you're talking to the people of Kali Yuga. How can someone renounce those? That? Those are the norms now, but they're not favorable for spiritual enlightenment. Meat eating, it's, uh, Atmahana, it's described as one who eats meat is a killer of the soul. Not that the soul can be killed, the soul is eternal, it can't be killed, but the chances for self realization are not there for one who's cruel to fellow mankind or to animals or anything. Intoxication, it's not a means of spiritual enlightenment. You know, when I was in the 60s, it was stay high forever. That was our mantra. Stay high forever. So they, people take drugs, but then they come crashing down. In fact, we had a temple in the Haight-Ashbury in uh, San Francisco in the, what do they call that? The, 1967, I forget, some year. And um, when all the hippies would take LSD, they'd all come to the Hare Krishna temple in the early morning to the Artik, <laughs> and they'd see the candles and the incense all being uh, offered to the Lord. They'd go, whoa. And they'd sing Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. <laughs> and they'd eat big breakfast with us every morning. But it doesn't matter, whatever condition you're in, You'll become purified. You'll feel, you'll feel purified. And one day that prema, that love, will awaken. And love is everything. Love is everything. It's the highest happiness. I've traveled the, the world north, south, east, west numerous times. And I've associated with the rich and the famous and, you know, the glorious, the rock stars, and the politicians, and the scientists, and athletes, all those people that have everything, but very often they tell me that although I have everything, something's missing. Because if you have everything, but you don't have someone that you love to share it with, you can't be happy. You can have everything, but if you don't have someone to love to share it with, you can't be happy. But I've been in places like the favelas and Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro and the townships in Soweto. We go, I often go there and chant like this, Hare Krishna. <laughs> and the African people, they love to dance. They love to sing. They love our food. The only white man who can go into the, into the uh, townships, Amaraj, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Because <laughs> this is a transcendental process. We see everyone equally, all brothers and sisters. So like that. But I've seen that the poorest of the poor, they have nothing, not even the shirt on their back. They're, they sleep on the, on the ground. But they have a loving husband, a loving wife, loving children, loving friends. They're happy. If you have nothing but you have love, you can be happy. If you have everything but you don't have love, you can't be happy. So when we speak about happiness in the spiritual world, it's all about love. It's all about love. Krishna's the supreme lover. We can love one or two or three or five people, but Krishna, the supreme personality of Godhead, he can love every created being to their full satisfaction. And that love never stops. Love in this world, you can have the best astrology chart, <laughs> and you're compatible, and it's going really good. But look at Romeo and Juliet. It's just the nature. It's just hard talk here. Hard talk. It's the nature of this world. So you... You can't really be happy because you can't fulfill your desire to love and to be loved as much as you need to in this world. But in the spiritual world, love reigns supreme, ad infinitum.
Krishna is not an old man with gray hair and a beard and arthritis, you know, heaven, hell, you know, deciding where people are going to go, sitting at a big chair. No, he's very beautiful, very youthful. Now, Yovanam Cha, he's eternally youthful. You never see a picture of Krishna older than 16. And he has his friends, but they also have spiritual bodies. They never take birth, they never get old, they never get diseased, they never die. So this is where we belong. We actually belong there. We're strangers in a strange land here. Although we identify strongly, you know, with our soccer team. Brazil lost, Argentina's going forward, France, and who? Um, Morocco. Tomorrow. Morocco. Morocco. Morocco, yeah. Not Morocco. Uh, no. Do you want? Argentina in the finals. Yeah. He's a soccer fan. He got bewildered because he's just enjoying his chanting too much, so he forgets. We, we shouldn't identify with anything in this world. We should gradually, gradually come to realize. Jivera supoya, Krishna nitya das. We're all spirit souls, part and parcel of Krishna, and our happiness is in the spiritual world. Loving Krishna. So this chanting awakens love. And therefore, when we're chanting, we're experiencing th this purification. We're experiencing this awakening of, of happiness, of love. And even without knowing it, we're singing and dancing like crazy. I'm sure some of you came here tonight, you didn't imagine you would be dancing like that. I saw some wallflowers. You know, they're like, no, no. Yes! <laughs> I jumped into the kirtan. This is a very easy and sublime process of self-realization. You become self-realized by singing, dancing, and feasting. What a wonderful process. So whatever you do, whoever you are, you just add it on. You don't have to be like me, like, you know, I shaved my head in 1968. I've given it I put on these robes. I, I accepted that discipline. No meat eating, no intoxication, no illicit sex outside of marriage, no gambling. I never looked back because the chanting, madhur, 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 is so sweet. You can only give up something if you get something better. And the best of the best, it's all just in those words, Hare Krishna and Ram, it's just compressed there. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Now, interestingly enough, now you give me your beads. Interestingly enough, you can also chant in another way. You can chant with what's called japa mala, or meditation beads, because you can't, you can't be like this all the time, you know, in your home, walking down the street at work. How do you guys not? So what you can do is you can get a set of beads like this. These are sacred beads from India. This is a, made of a wood called tulsi. She's a sacred plant. In India, every Hindu person has a tulsi plant in front of their house, and they worship her every morning. She's a great devotee of Krishna. So these are 108 beads. So you'll see in places like Rishikesh and Haridwar and Vrindavan and Tirupati and Srirangam, you'll see the sadhus, they sit and with their thumb and their middle finger, they sit for hours like this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Then they go to the next bead. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. <coughs> It's not a. Um, it's not silent meditation. Any form of meditation is good because it fixes us on transcendence, but this is a better option because when you meditate, the mind wanders here, there, and everywhere. It can be our best friend or worst enemy. If you're chanting a little bit softly like that, Hare Krishna, it's easier to fix your mind, and you're chanting this maha mantra. So I started chanting again in 1968. Every day, these used to be my beads, I gave them to him. 16 rounds, 16 times around these beads, it takes me two to three hours. What? Two to three hours? Yeah, <laughs> that's the best thing you can do. <laughs> it becomes spiritually enlightened. Because when you die, 
You can't take anything material with you. But as much spiritual advancement as you've made in one lifetime, say it's 70%, next lifetime, you start at 71. That's an investment. Materially, you lose it. You come into this world naked, and you leave naked. But if you've made spiritual progress, you keep it. And the next birth, if, you, if you're, say, made 80%, then 81%. And gradually evolve like that, and then your liberation comes when you're 100%. So this is like an investment. So what's wrong with three hours? Uh, it's a good investment. I mean, Hare Krishna. Hare. And you can see you never get tired of it. You know, Coca-Cola, 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 Coca-Cola. Because it's a material sound vibration. But this is evidence that it's transcendental. You can go on chanting for 52 years. <coughs> like me. I mean, I've got a long way to go, I'll be honest with you. I, I might, I'm a practitioner. But... Um, Confucius said the longest journey begins with the first step. So better to be taking a slow step in the right direction in self-realization than running towards, you know, sense gratification and material enjoyment in the other direction. Better to be one inch above the, the water. If you're drowning, someone pulls you out. You're one inch above the water. Okay, you may not be back in the boat at home. <laughs> you're, above the, you're, above the, you're out of danger. So if you chant you'll be above danger. You'll be above doubt. You'll be ab about stress. You'll be above anxiety. All those things, whoosh, they just disappear. And you can, be ev you can be happy, for the most part, even in this world, all the time. It's like you take the plug and you put it into the wall. You've got the electricity. So if you're plugged into transcendence by mantra, you'll always be happy. And if you don't believe me, then you have to try, because the, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. I can challenge you. I'll come back here in one year, OK? If you start chanting Hare Krishna, seriously chanting on the mala, because this is like the, the real yogi, he, he's, he's, there's discipline, there's you know, rules, there's regulations. So if you chant a, a set of beasts like this for one year, I guarantee when I come back, your smile is going to be from one ear to the other. Because real happiness comes from within. So thank you, everyone, for this opportunity. I'm just passing by for a, a couple of days. That's what I do. I just wander this earth and <laughs> sing and dance with everybody, share some of the wisdom of the ancient scriptures of India, and encourage people. Because you know, we've got a lot of things on our mind. We have time to chant. We have time to follow discipline. Just to give a little nudge, you know that this is a good alternative to material life. And you can incorporate, you can balance your life. Be who you are, but add the chanting. OK? So thank you. And thank you for inviting me to come, Ram. Are, are, are there some prashadam tonight? Uh, so a little prashadam. And um, I guess I'll go now, because I'm on India time, something like, I don't know what, 4 o'clock in the morning or something. So I'll go. But uh, thank you so much for this opportunity to share with you. I wish you all the best in your spiritual path. Thank you. Thank you.